Hey everybody, it's Scott coming back at you for Volt Grooming. Today I'm here to talk to you about my daily grooming routine and a few tips and tricks I have that help me look my best each and every day, regardless of some of the challenges I have with my beard and my hair. There's three primary things that I've got to contend with every day. One is when I first wake up and I want to get to the gym or I want to get to the beach. Second one is what do I do when I'm done with the gym and I'm done with the beach and I want to go on to the next stage of my day. And of course, the third and the most challenging is what do I do when I wake up in the morning and now it's time to get ready for work? The longest and most difficult part of my daily grooming routine. We're gonna go over all three right now. Okay, so number one, what do I do when I first wake up in the morning? My morning started at 4 a.m. I'm usually going to the gym or I'm going to the beach. What do I do with my hair? Well, I've got a full head of hair and I've got a full beard. My hair is nonetheless very fine and very hard to control. When I wake up in the morning, everything's out of control. And I've got to make a decision. At 4 a.m., I'm worried about one thing and one thing alone, and that's getting that first espresso in me so I can keep going. The second is my grooming routine. Real simple. I take a little sea salt spray, in this case, Bolt's Grooming Surf Salt Spray, spray it into my hair, run my fingers through it, and pop on a hat. Now, I know it's a bit of a cop out to wear a hat in the morning, but it's either a hat or it's 30 minutes in the bathroom. Okay, so number two, I'm coming out of the gym or I'm coming out of the ocean and off the beach and I've got to start the next part of my day. Hat's got to come off, hair's got to dry, and I'm going to head off to lunch to meet a friend or I've got a business obligation and I've got to look good. I don't have a bathroom in front of me. I don't have a hair dryer. I need something to do in the here and now to make sure that I look good and that I look presentable. Despite the fact that I've got a full head of hair that happens to be very fine and I've got a beard that happens to do whatever it wants, I can still manage it and it's actually quite simple. I take my surf salt spray and I spray it all over my hair and all over my beard. And then all I do is take a brush and I comb it through my hair, I comb it through my beard. It adds volume, it moisturizes, it smells good, but most importantly, it actually gives me great hold. So no matter what position I comb or brush my hair into, it'll hold for the rest of the day. I take the surf salt spray, spray it into my hair, spray it in my beard, run my hands through it, run a brush through it. I can even run a comb through my beard. My hair's gonna be clean, my beard's gonna be clean, I'm gonna have volume, it's gonna smell good, and it's gonna have great hold. 15, 20 minutes, second part of my grooming routine. The third part of my grooming routine, the one that takes the most time, the one that gives me the most challenges, is when I'm getting ready in the morning for a full day. You know, most guys will pop out of the shower, run a little gel through their hair, and they're ready to go 10 minutes later. I need 30, 45 minutes in order to look the best. When I get out of the shower, my hair's hard to manage and my beard's hard to manage, and it takes me a long time to do it well. I get calyx in my beard, I have calyx in my hair, and because I've got a lot of it, it really needs to be managed. So after I'm done showering, after I'm done washing my face, I use a hair dryer and a small curling brush, and I go through with the hair dryer and I curl my beard down so that all the cowlicks looks come out and I've got my beard running down the way I like it. Same thing with my hair, particularly in the back. I'm using the hair dryer, I'm doing everything I can to keep my hair in the back straight so it doesn't come out and doesn't look crazy. Same thing at the top of my hair. I'm running my hairbrush through it and using the hair dryer as hot as it'll go. But in order to make sure that I don't damage my hair unnecessarily or that I don't hurt my hair, I always stop in the middle and I hit my hair with surf salt spray. I find bulk grooming surf salt spray to be extraordinarily cleansing in my hair and give me a great feel and actually protects my hair when I go through my grooming routine. After I'm done and my hair is ready to go, my beard's ready to go, and I'm looking fine, I really have two choices. And you see guys make these choices all the time. They can either use a thick, creamy gel and rub it through their hair and it gives them that nice, tight hold. But for me, for whatever reason, it makes it such a tight hold, it looks like I'm wearing a helmet on my head. I again use surf salt spray, spray it all over my hair, and just with my hands, I can mat my hair to the exact spot I want, same thing with my beard, and it looks great. So in any of this video, I just want to rewind and remind you of the three things that I contend with every day, that you may contend with every day, and how easy it is to solve them. If you've got five minutes, throw on a hat, make sure your beard looks good, and get on with your day. If you've got 15 or 20 minutes, find that product that works best for you. For me, instead of a bomb, it's surf salt spray. Spray it in, 
move my hair around, and I'm looking terrific. And the third one is my full routine. The hair dryer, the hair brush, the curling brush, and then my surf salt spray or whatever product you find works best for you. Whether you've got five minutes, 20 minutes, or 45 minutes, you can always look your best.